But when you, in one of your press releases that I read July 15th, say this, and this is Greenpeace's own press release, mm -hmm. quote, as permanent ice decreases, we are looking at ice-free summers in the Arctic as early as 2030. I mean, that, that's just plain misleading, isn't it? I don't think it is plain misleading. I know that there's but, uncertainties. But the, but, I'm, but the Arctic I'm includes the Greenland ice myself. sheet. I mean, the Greenland ice sheet is in the Arctic. That's not going to melt in, by 2030. That's preposterous. The, the clean, Greenland ice sheet is already retreating, and but, the people there can me, tell it. The Greenland ice sheet, from which I have just come, is... 1.6 million square kilometers. It is three kilometers thick in the middle. Mm -hmm. It has been there for hundreds of thousands of years. It survived previous warming periods much more, much warmer than we see today or will see tomorrow. There is no way that ice sheet is going to disappear. What we have said, by and large, over the 20, 20, last 20 years, I think was wise and was rational and reasonable to it. And we were confronted with a world which unfortunately only recently has woken up to it. That we, as a pressure group, have to emotionalize issues, and we're not ashamed of emotionalizing issues, I think is a fact. You and call it emotionalizing, others would call it scare tactics. Will you sit here now and tell me that you, in all honesty, do not believe that the Greenland ice sheet is going to melt by 2030? I don't know. I, I don't think it will be melting by 2030. So, in yeah. fact, would you say that it was a mistake for your organization to put that, that out? That may have been a mistake. I don't know this specific press release. I do not check every press release of it.